Hey guys, Logan Booker here with Bulldog Illustrated, uh, here with our good friend Matt Stinchcomb, a former Georgia player, SEC Media Days, day four, we had Georgia in the building. Matt, did you catch anybody today on the podium? Or? You know, I didn't get a chance to see no? anybody. I ran into Chris Conley downstairs on Radio Row. Uh, that's an imposing looking yeah. receiver. That's a big body to be running around. Wearing bow ties, too. They were, yeah, they were everybody nice was. See, I, think he, <laughs> I think he was the uh, the fashion designer for the whole get up for all the Georgia contingent. Gotcha. Well, the football season's here. This is always the last event that really kicks off football season. Once we get back, we go to practice. And a lot of new things happening in Athens. What, what can you tell us about Jeremy Pruitt and what do you expect from these guys? And uh, what, what can the fans expect in Athens this year? Well, you know, I think that there's really nowhere to go but up defensively. It was it was a tough year on that side of the football. And, of course, um, the simplification that has been talked about, I think, with Coach Pruitt coming on board, I think it's going to be very beneficial for the guys on that side of the football. If you can play fast and aggressive, it, it's helpful. And I think one of the things that's a key ingredient to that is understanding what it is that you're supposed to do on a given play. If you can keep that as simple enough as, as possible anyway, without really compromising what you're doing from a scheme standpoint, then uh, I think that's ideal. And that's basically what, what I understand anyway is being done on the defensive side of the ball. Obviously, Georgia fans are very used to Aaron Murray the last four years, and it was quite a treat watching him, obviously. But Hudson Mason coming in, fifth-year senior, not like you're breaking in a freshman here. So do you have high expectations for him to pick up right where we left off? I think so. And, you know, I think the, the key for him more than anything else is to be Hudson Mason and not Aaron Murray. That's uh, No one's going to duplicate or try to even replicate uh, Murray's production. That was a pretty storied career to say mm -hmm. the least, but we've seen this movie before and it's worked out well where the heir apparent was patient enough mm -hmm. to wait their time. Uh, in 2005, obviously, DJ Shockley, a very talented quarterback, uh, playing behind a championship winning quarterback in his own right, David Absolutely. Green. Uh, I think Hudson Mason um, has the pieces around him to afford him a chance to, to be really successful. Mm -hmm. Well, finally, I know you got a lot of radio shows to do downstairs, but we got a treat coming up for you Saturday, Bulldog Illustrated, yeah. putting on the Countdown for Kickoff, an annual event in Athens. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because you're one of the uh, faces of that program, aren't you? Yeah, we, 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 we've been able to put it together for about nine years now. And actually, Bulldog Illustrated is the presenting mm -hmm. sponsor of the Fan Day. That'll be a lot of fun. That's Saturday uh, from noon to 3 mm -hmm. in the stadium, on the field. Uh, with the current players, some former players. Cool. It's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, a, a really unique experience for the fans. Gotcha. Well, you heard it there. Uh, you can go to BulldogIllustrated.com to get some more information about this Saturday. I suggest you not meet it. Matt, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, enjoy the rest of your media days, and it's football season. Let's thanks. get it going. Yes, sir. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it, guys.